Hi, I'm Courtney, and in this short video, I'm going to show you two quick settings that you can use on this ENS7P syringe driver. To start using a syringe driver, just hold down the on off button until the screen turns on and it makes a beeping sound. Straight away it will ask you if you want to use any of the settings that were last loaded onto the machine. So in this instance I'm going to hit no. And then you land on this working screen here. So you can load your syringe straight away just by extending the driver, opening up the switch and then loading the syringe. It will then ask you to confirm what type of syringe that you've placed into the driver. So in this instance I'll hit BD syringe. So now if we want to start our CRI or our bolus of drug, we can do so by selecting VTBI, so volume to be infused. I've got 15 mils in my syringe, so I just need to go 15. And then if for example I want this drug to be administered over 20 minutes, I can go down to time. And we've got hour, hour, minute, minute, so if over 20 minutes, I can put double, zero, 20. And that means it's going to deliver this drug at a rate of 45 mil an hour. And all we need to do from here is just start the CRI. We can do that with this button here or this button here. The volume that has been administered to the patient so far is down on this last line here. And then what is left to be delivered is still under VTBI. If you would like to instead set an hourly rate to run for our patient, all you need to do is still fill in the VTBI, the volume to be infused at 15 mils as we had before. But instead of saying we'd like this to go in over 20 minutes, we can actually say I would prefer to put this patient on a rate of maybe four mil an hour. That means this syringe in particular with 15 mil of our drug in it is going to be infused over three hours and 45 minutes. And then we can just hit start here or here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please email us at sales at burtons.uk.com. You can message us on our social media platforms or you can leave a comment below.